Hello, everyone. Jim from Storm Warning News. And uh, at the behest of French President Emmanuel Macron, there were plans that uh, Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin would have yet another summit to discuss the security situation in Ukraine. And yet now that appears that it is less likely to happen with the Russians saying it's premature to talk about any specific plans for organizing any kind of summits. However, Macron and Putin will continue to speak, trying to find a peaceful situation to resolve the Ukraine crisis. And I'm sure Putin will just say, yeah, whatever, whatever, uh, Emmanuel, whatever you want. Yep, yep, we'll do that. Okay, moving on, folks. Now, this is one of those false flags, and Russia's been staging these uh, these low-scale, low-fi, low-tech false flags for the last couple of days now. A Russian FSB border guard says, they say, a projectile launched from territory of Ukraine destroyed their building at 150 meters from the border in Rostov region this morning. Again, Russia accusing the Ukraine of firing a projectile and destroying one of their checkpoints. I will give you a quick show of this video here. There is the checkpoint right there. It just looks like an old junked out building that was probably destroyed long ago, but it's using being used again possibly as a casus belli to make a move on the Ukraine to justify it in the world's eyes. There is that junked out building that was purportedly hit by um, Ukrainian arms. Okay, let's move on here now. Meanwhile, we have the Donetsk People's Republic saying it needs military assistance from Russia as situation is critical. Again, there's been a lot of back and forth. There's been mortar fire, rifle fire between uh, Ukraine elements and DPR and LPR, which is the Lugansk People's Republic, for several days now. The DPR and LPR fire, again, these are, these are Russian uh, sympathizers. They most likely started this. I would say they started this, uh, and Ukraine has just responded. Initially, Ukraine did not respond at all, but it's being made to look like the Ukraine began this, and now the DPR is crying out for help from Russia as the situation is going critical, yet perhaps another casus belli, another false flag to justify this invasion into Russia or into Ukraine, excuse me. Oh, maybe, I, I don't know. Why did I say that into Russia? Uh, no, I didn't mean that. Anyway, folks, um, in all seriousness here, these are crazy times, but do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please like this video, please share, please subscribe, hit the bell icon for notification of upcoming uploads. Most importantly, like I just said, Jesus, lean into him. This is Jim signing out. God bless you, and I will see you soon.